Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you my whole entire HO skill uh, collection of trains, modern equipment, and uh, I guess we're just going to start with the sort of miscellaneous. This one is a Bachman uh, 40 foot Canadian National uh, gondola, pretty simple, pretty cheap, it was like 17 bucks, not that much, but it's pretty good anyways, pretty good, uh, right here. Let me get rid of these. Uh, this is a Walther's train line flat car, like wood flat car, Union Pacific. But instead of being in yellow, it's like this tealish color. It's kind of weird. And then it came with these three uh, meat stick looking logs with that. And yeah, it's basically it for those two. Just more of the miscellaneous. And now let's move on to the covered hoppers. Why not? This one here got off Amazon. It's a Bachman BNSF uh, ACF, I think is what it's called. Covered hopper, center flow hopper, as Amazon likes to call it. And it's pretty simple. Makes this sound. Let me know. I don't know. It's just hollow on the inside. And it has quite a bit of detail. Not on this side. And not on this side either. Hmm. I don't know where the detail is, but the detail doesn't really matter for me. I don't care about detail. As you can see by these three locomotives, I don't really like, I don't care about detail. I just want quantity. And these are all pretty cheap. And yeah, so that's about it for this BNSF cover hopper. Next, this one has quite a bit of detail. It's a Walther's mainline, um, covered, 50 foot covered hopper, Santa Fe, but hair, hair, get that off, anyways, uh, Santa Fe covered hopper, 50 foot, this is like a, it's kind of a 70s type of center hopper, uh, covered hopper, and look at that detail on the inside, that's pretty good, 27 bucks, this is awesome. There, you can see what it says, and the bottom has a bunch of detail. It's like all around, this just has lots and lots of detail. Pretty good. Alright, now continuing on from there, we have four, uh, yes, four, uh, Bachman cir cir Circular Covered Hoppers, and, uh, hold up. Family issues. Anyways, this one is just a uh, surgical grain hopper. CN uh, around the world paint scheme and... I mean, not the world. <sighs> Stupid. All around North America paint scheme. And I did some weathering. Did my best, at least. I just used crayon. Yeah, yeah, I know. But yeah, it, look, it looks kind of good for Rust. And then debut, because sounds like something a gangster would make. And then that, and then M was here, because why not? And yeah, this one's a little, the side's a little more weathered. Yeah, that's that. This one is a black CP rail uh, covered hopper. Still, all these by Bachman, so I don't need to say covered hopper four times. But yeah, this one's just a CP rail one, black. This one and this ho hopper right here were my first uh, pieces of rolling stock I ever bought from a hobby shop. That's pretty awesome. This one for Christmas, uh, got it. This one also for Christmas, but this one is the Canadian National, the environmental mode paint scheme. I don't like Canadian National. As you can tell, Canadian National, Canadian National, Canadian National, <laughs> just continue going. Right here is a Santa Fe uh, covered hopper as well, still the same, Done, not a lot of detail in here because it's Bachman, but uh, yep, that's that. And right here is a uh, Walther's train line CSX uh, offset hopper, and it's pretty cool. CSX, I like it. Goes with the CSX locomotive 
pretty good, I'd say. This one's a little bit darker than the locomotive, though. It's weird. And, uh, right here. This was off of, of an old train set. So it's plastic wheels. That's a CP rail covered hopper. Wait. Wow. Covered hopper. Am I stupid today? Uh, just... These three are the same. I don't need to say it. Well, yeah, it's just a CP rail version. It's pretty cool. By, by Bachman. And then here is the other uh, thing that went along with that CP rail one of the first pieces. Yep, just speaking Ohio. Pretty cool. Lock it, lock it, lock it. Right here, we're getting into more of the bigger stuff again. Wisconsin Central, he heavily weathered, uh, heavily weathered by me. Uh, Walther's Mainline Two Bay Hopper. I thought this was a two bay covered hopper in the store because I didn't open up the package. That's why I picked it up so swiftly. And then when I get home, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also did the inside there. Looks pretty dirty. I like it. And yeah, that's that. I think that's it for the weathered stuff. This right here is a is a Bachman uh Bethel Tem uh hundred ton hopper. Pretty cool. Has a coal load. And we take the coal load out. I have to glue those in. It's pretty cool. Pretty thin pieces. Look nice. And yeah, this one just slides on top. And it fits in there nice and secure. Pretty nice. Like it. Union Pacific. Yeah. And then right here, uh, we're getting into the three boxcars that I have. Hold up. There we go. There's the brightness again. Here is the uh, this one and that Conrail. It's the exact same thing, Walther's train line, insulated box car, so I don't need to say it twice. And, yep, insulated, heated, has quite a bit of detail on the bottom, too. The weight's, like, broken off on the inside. You can actually lift up the cover on both of them. And, yeah. Yeah, that. And this one has, uh, some, some broken co co uh, couplers that I've yet to replace, so... I haven't really used this one much in my running, but it's still pretty cool. Got brake wheel there, pretty cool. Bunch of different details, and yeah, that's that. Anyways, as we continue, here's the Conrail version. I like this one a lot more than it, and I've put a crap ton of whites in it from, from like, stuff like that. Freight cars that I don't use, I just put the weights inside of this, and it's super freaking heavy. It feels nice. And yeah, all the details that are on here, basically the same as that CP rail, but it's just in Conrail black, uh, brown paint scheme. And yeah, that's that. Let's get this over here. Alright, come on, trains. There we go. This right here is a Bachman rail box. Um, uh, just box car. Box car, pretty simple. And, uh, my dad bought this for 40 bucks at, at, like, a hobby shop. Mainly a hardware store, but it's got a slight hobby shop in it. And this was one of the, like, three pieces of rolling stock they had in there, and it was 40 bucks. I wouldn't really pay that much for a Bachman piece, but, I mean, it's alright. It has a, quite a bit of detail. The wires and stuff. You look. Not this side, other side. Yeah, brake wheel, silver roof, it's pretty cool, and yeah, that's about it, oh yeah, and also, opening doors with, with a, with a detailed inside, hold up, yeah, that looks cool, that's it for all of the rolling stock, now it's time to get into the locomotives, the most important parts. It's right here from my first uh, starter set, which is what really started all this. Came with this and those two pieces right there. These are both weathered, but uh, had to like steal the couplers and stuff from them 
just add on to this stuff and some things back there. And yeah, but this locomotive is pretty nice, runs pretty smooth for being a Bachman and uh, well, brightness there. And um, CSX right there. It's pretty cool. I like it. Has a little broken window right there. For some reason, I don't know if I broke it one day or something, but it kind of looks like it's been involved in a slight wreck or someone threw rocks at it. So, whenever I do fake little wrecks, I always use that. Oh, yeah. Also, watch your step. Yeah. Just CSX lettering. This is the YM3 paint scheme. Uh, red dots right here. And uh, since it's since it's Bachman, it just has lights that fade in and out. It's standard DC. All of this is standard DC. Hold up. All that standard DC. Come on, brightness. There we go. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. Just yellow right there. Just a pretty cool engine. Pretty nice. This one is my favorite. My Walther's Trainline GP15-1. I've yet to get some other locomotives, which I've really wanted. But I will be getting those as soon as taxes come in. And you'll probably see a video on those and other freight cars as well. But, yeah, right here, I have snow plows. I added them on both sides. Because uh, it covers up the damaged spots. Because my friend Caden... Uh, uh, he, he doesn't like trains, but, like, he didn't kick him, don't worry, or anything, but, like, he was just holding it, and then it just, like, slipped out of his hands and dropped, like, a whole foot, like, it's, like, this far in the air, smashed down onto the floor over there, and, whoa, it got dark, hold up, there we go, brightness, and, yeah, so, it's pretty damage on the front. This piece is just like hanging on right there. And yeah. 144.6. It says GP 15 1 right there. Wait. There we go. That looks pretty good. Pretty good shot. Whoa. Come on, brightness. Brightness is dumb. Yeah, it's a pretty cool locomotive, and when you flip it over, you can actually see a flywheel right there. Walther's, this piece is metal right here. It's pretty cold. And yeah, the backside has directional lighting. Pretty nice locomotive. I like it a lot. And yeah, I'm going to keep that in my collection for a very long time. This is my most recent locomotive. And the funny thing is, this one and that one are for my grandma, and this one's for my dad. So my grandma's bought... Two out of three of my actual locomotives, so that's funny. And this right here is a uh, Walther's train line Santa Fe GP9M. Pretty good runner. Uh, it's faster than this one and that one. This one's pretty slow. This one's kind of fast. This one's like faster than the CSX. It's, it's a pretty cool locomotive. Pretty good runner. Hauls some pretty good trains. And it just looks pretty nice from angles. And it's like four, uh, hun no, not a hundred. That would be way too overpriced. It's like, uh, I don't know, sixty, fifty six dollars I think, on Amazon. It's pretty good. It's a Santa Fe piece, so goes along with the Santa Fe bar. This and that. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's it for my uh, collection of equipment. By equipment, I mean rolling stock and locomotives. Stuff that goes on the rails. Alright, see ya. Goodbye.